Okay, we're recording service for noonday prayer. Today is Monday, March 23rd, and we have another saint day today. It is the feast of Gregory the Illuminator, who was the apostle to Armenia. And so uh, we remember him today uh, as we do our prayers. All right, I'll start with the first page. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, Lord, make make haste haste to help help us. Glory to the the Father, Father, and to the the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit. as As it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. All right, the psalm has, I think, three sections, so each person can read um, a, a page of the psalm. Who would like to start? I'll start. Okay. Your love, O Lord, forever will I sing. From age to age, my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness. For I am persuaded that your love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness firmly in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever and preserve your throne for all generations. The heavens bear witness to your wonders, O Lord, and to your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who is is like the Lord among the gods? All right, the next page. God is much to be feared in the council of the holy ones, great and terrible to all those round about him. Who is like you, Lord God of hosts? Almighty Lord, your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the raging of the sea and still the surging of its waves. You have crushed Rahab of the deep with a deadly wound. You have scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. Yours are the heavens. The earth also is yours. You laid the foundations of the world and all that is in it. You have made the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. All right, in the last section. I'll I'll read that. You have a mighty arm, strong as your hand and high as your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Love and truth go before your face. Happy are the people who know the festal shout. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your presence. They rejoice daily in your name. They are jubilant in your righteousness. For you are the glory of their strength. And by your favor, our might is exalted. Truly, the Lord is our ruler. The Holy One of Israel is our King. And we say together, Glory Glory to the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, 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 and and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Okay, our reading is in two parts from the Gospel of Mark. Who would like to read the first page? Uh, Eric? Yes. This is Jean. I'm on the phone. I don't know uh, where you are. I I tried to get online. I could. Oh, well, you're doing it by phone, which is excellent. So we're on page 103 in the Book of Common Prayer. And I'm uh, I'm showing the screen. So if you're on the computer, you can follow along. Otherwise, you can follow along in your prayer book. No, I I couldn't pick you up. It wouldn't allow me to get on to to the site. Yeah. Okay. I'll talk to um, you later. Okay. So just follow along in the prayer book and listen if you'd like. You can just listen on the phone. I will. I am. I am. Okay. Okay. All right. okay. Bye-bye. Okay, Larry go ahead. He set out and went away to the region of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know he was there. But he could not escape notice. But a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit immediately heard about him, and she came and bowed down at his feet. 
Now the woman was a Gentile of Syrophoenician origin. She begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, let the children be fed first, for it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, sir, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. And he said to her, for saying that you may go, the demon has left your daughter. So she went home, found the child lying on the bed, and the demon gone. And who would like to read the uh, next half? I'll take it from here. Then he returned from the region of Tyre and went by the way of Sidon towards the Sea of Galilee in the region of Decapolis. They brought to him a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech, and they begged him to lay his hands on him. He took him aside in private, away from the crowd, and put his fingers into his ears, and he spat and touched his tongue. Then looking up to the heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be open. And immediately his ears were open, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. Then Jesus ordered them to tell no one, but the more he ordered them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. They were astounded beyond measure, saying, he has done everything well. He even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. Thank you. Before we go on with the uh, prayers, uh, any thoughts or uh, reflections about our psalm or gospel reading today? And remember to unmute yourself if you're going to speak. Okay, this is Buzzy Pat. Can you hear me? Yep, no buzzing. Oh, good. Um, it's just so apropos to what we're going through right now. Don't you wish we could just pray to Jesus and present our illness and have him heal all of us right now? Yeah. We know God's power is out there. I just yeah. pray that um, miracles are happening even as we pray. Yeah. I think I noticed there again, uh, Jesus ordered them to tell no one. He does that a few times, mm -hmm. especially after the healing. He did it with the uh, lepers, the 10 lepers, right? Yeah. And, and uh, I don't know the purpose of that, I guess. Did you feel the, the people were ready yet? There's a couple passages where he says, my hour is not yet come. Mm -hmm. And so he's, um, I also wonder, I've always wondered if there was a little reverse psychology, um, mm -hmm. that it's the fastest way to get people to talk about yeah. something is if you tell them not to say anything. <laughs> you have all the trees to prove, <laughs> eat from the garden, but don't eat from that one. <laughs> right. God is a master of uh, reverse psychology. So I think what we've uh, heard today and confirmed in the week and last week. Any other thoughts before we move on? Rad was speaking. Rad was we speaking. Couldn't we couldn't hear him. Oh, Rad. sorry, Rad. We missed you there. Okay. Uh, I, I think what I, uh, I can't. What touched me uh, today and in your, your sermon yesterday is that uh, everyone counts you know, in the world. I think we're seeing that. Going through it, it really doesn't depend on where you're a Congress person or whoever you are. That you, you you can all be impacted. So I think that has a lot to bring you together. And I think in the message today, you know, the, even the dogs with the crumbs are important. So uh, that's what I felt. Yeah. We we missed some of that. I think you were saying the message yeah. is that everyone counts. That's and right. Seeing yeah. that in this passage and in the Sunday readings also is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, your voice was very low and then it suddenly got a little stronger. I, I don't know what the setting is on your computer, but. You know, I have to find out where the uh, microphone is. There it is. <laughs> I'm online. Yeah. Well, thank you. That's great. Anybody else? All right, let's uh, move on. Lord, have mercy. 
Christ, Christ, have, Christ mercy. have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We pray together. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom thy come, come, thy will thy be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Who would like to lead the collect for today? I'll try. Okay. Lord, hear our prayer. And let, let our cry come, come to you. Let us pray. Almighty God, who raised up your servant Gregory to be a light in the world and to preach the gospel to the people of Armenia, illuminate our hearts that we also in our own generation may show forth your praise, who called us out of darkness and into your marvelous light through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 And the next one. I'll read it. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 At this time, I invite your prayers of intercession or thanksgiving. For Lisa, for Amy, for Shar. Pray for all those with cancer. Especially pray for those healthcare workers that are putting themselves in harm's way for all of us. Especially my daughter, Anne. And for Rami, Ubedi, and all those who work in assisted living and skilled care, elder homes. We pray for those who have, have COVID-19 or symptoms, unconfirmed symptoms, including uh, Christy, Jim and George and Peter and many, many others. And for those that have no income coming in and, and don't know what the next few weeks is going to bring as far as their financial security. Yeah. I thank you for our leaders, for um, Governor Whitmer and Governor Cuomo and um, all the governors who are taking action, especially against this virus. And I pray for our um, federal government as well. I give thanks for the, all the members of our church in our attempts to stay connected and to reach out in compassion to others. Um, Give thanks for efforts underway to help deliver meals or um, groceries to people who are at risk. And for those who worked at the food pantry and those who are connecting with new technologies they've never used before um, in an effort to, to, uh, to still be the church. I, I really give thanks for that. It's, it really warms my heart to see all the efforts underway here and, and so many places to, to still be the church. I pray for the uh, outreach appeal that SLS has just put out and they wanted people to donate money uh, through uh, not SLS, but the other agency they work with. My and house. my thought is how can people get out to, uh, you know, shop for groceries? That, mm -hmm. that, I think it's going to be a real issue. Yeah. Say thank you for the signs of spring on a snow day in spite of or 
all the things going on and the life that's coming to keep us going. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Let us bless the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. God. Well, it's wonderful to see you all. Anybody uh, need anything? Is everyone doing okay? Good. We're good. Yeah. Wally's autoimmune, so we have to stay home. <laughs> yeah, well, I think we're all staying home. Unless we're well, critical workers now. Yeah. I will put in the epistle, um, the, the, there are people that are willing to deliver groceries. Uh, Jean asked about that. And so if you are someone who needs groceries delivered, uh, please let us know. If you're someone who can deliver groceries, also let us know. And uh, Mary Eberlein is helping to coordinate uh, that matchmaking service to make sure everybody in our congregation is covered. Um, for special uh, needs during this time. So keep, keep in touch that way, and we'll see you soon. See you tomorrow. See, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs> oh, Appreciate and tomorrow, it. tomorrow. I, if I'm late, don't worry. I've got a, I'm on an all-day standing committee call, Zoom call, so I'm going to leave that call and do noonday prayer. So, so hang in there. I'll set it up so that you can maybe even go ahead without me if you need to. Um, okay. So uh, someone, someone will need a prayer book, but well, I, I should be there right at noon, but if I'm late, uh, that's why. Okay. God bless. Everybody have a good afternoon. Bye. You too. Stay safe, people. Bye. 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 Bye.